Genesis 10, 21. And to Shem, the father of the children of Abraham, the elder brother of Jephthah, to him also were children born. Now, Eber, this is where the term Hebrew comes from. Eber, um, I was reading based off the age, was said to be still around even during years of Jacob. So it's interesting that he was still there for so long. Um, the Hebrew people come from this man. Um, get their name from this man. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Um, I didn't know if they were still around. He's still around in Abraham's time. Okay, Hosea 12, 13, and 14. By a prophet of the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. This is referring to Moses in the Exodus. And by a prophet he was preserved. So, um, the word of God was preserved by Moses, but Joshua was called to preserve their place in the new land. Egypt is symbolic of sin, so let's use that as an analogy here, because scripture often does, and relate it back to Jesus. Through Jesus, we are brought out of sin. Just as Israel was brought out by the Lord of Egypt and followed by the prophet and his words, we're brought out of sin by Jesus and led by the Spirit and the Bible. Verse 14. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly. Therefore shall he leave his blood upon him and his reproach shall his Lord returned unto him. So Ephraim symbolic of Israel, the entire northern group, made the Lord angry. So God's going to put judgment on them. God's going to send them their just dues. The fact is we... God's been holding this back. Ephraim's been deserving it for a while. God's been showing mercy by not sending it. We deserve destruction as believers. But we receive grace in Christ. It ain't anything we deserve. We deserve that destruction. But we get his mercy and get so much blessing.